Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. In our last video, we met Captain Dorgan Goa. We were exposed. It was exposed that we are not the real Desert Claw. And we found out that Steve has a little boy hidden inside of him. His name is Mark. Okay, here we go. I really have to thank you. And Steve. You're welcome. And the great tablet. What's that? It's this really huge treasure. With the great tablet, you can go to this paradise called Eden. So now we're all looking for it. Eden, huh? I wish I could see it in person. I'll tell you all about it. I'm glad. I'm looking forward to that, Mark. Just leave it to me. Gosh, I can't believe how excited I am. Aww. Oh, I kind of want an explanation. Um, you know what? Let's go take care of. Wait, what? How do I get out of here? Oh, I gotta gotta go the other way. The other way, I said, you jerk. This way. This is the other way. No, it's not. This is. All right. Super CPU. And one of these things. Lapis Lazuli, which that's not easy for me to pronounce. All right. And time to take the train. Train's about for minus station. Hop on. Yes, please. I'd like to come back here on my day off. <laughs> Your day off. I like come back here, hang out in this mine. Whatever you want, baby. I love you. Don't fall behind, okay? All right, the city of Mina. is clear. Ah. Sorry, didn't mean to frighten you. Don't worry, I don't bite. My name is Burton. I'm an explorer who came all the way out here to examine the ancient tablets they discovered in the mine. Hold on a second. You're here for that too? Oh, ho! so you know about them. I bet you're here gathering info yourselves as well. In that case, how about we swap data, eh? Um, well, sure, but we don't have much yet. Well, so far, I've managed to learn that the miners hang out in a place called Angela's Bar. I reckon if we go there, we'll be able to find out something. The only thing is, I have no idea where the place is. How about you? Angela's Bar? Huh. There he is! Uh-oh, this isn't good. Wait! Burton! Huh? Hey, you guys! You're in cahoots with that old coot! Huh? What do you guys want? What's going on? Well, I don't like this. Hey, come on! How did we get involved? Well, you guys can try it if you want. But, uh, this is exactly what's gonna happen. Hope it was worth it, because now you're dead. How dare you defy the Marathi clan? No! 
If you know what's good for you, you'll get lost! Uh-oh. Now we've gotten their attention. That old guy mentioned something about Angela's bar. Maybe we can learn a few things if we go there. All right. Let's try to find it. Okay. We can indeed try to find Angela's bar, but we skipped the teleporter, the which we don't want to do. For the great tablet, are we? And a chest. It's a thief's dragon. Combat master it is. Now, rather than do this, I actually want to go back to... Um, to Gerard and talk to me. Or Zerard. Because we could do this now. We could just go places. This cutscene is... It's standard. Every time we skip from planet to planet. And the handy thing about this is we can just there's a teleporter in the control room. They did a very good job of making these things skippable. Let's teleport to... The Galaxy Corporation entrance. Because I want to talk... Uh, we should be able to buy a license from Mio now. Okay, obtain a hunter's license. Let's check to see if we qualify. Don't have a hunt. We don't have one. 22 coins. With 20, we can get a silver license. So there we go. Silver hunter's license. Now, we can also check her percentage. And she'll show you, each time we get 100% on one of these, we'll actually get a, um, a prize. I don't know what happens if we talk to her. Yeah, we're here to see little old you. Oh, I'm, I'm so happy. I love all my fans. Alright, anyway. Now, some other things. Let's talk about the factory. We can link up with the factory remotely. And the factory is a mini game that allows us to create items that are then available in the shop. So, first thing you want to do is select a blueprint. And the first thing we should make is the magical smelter. And it'll give us plans. Um, it's item one and item two meet up together and create a complete thing. Item one is a space compressor, one of them, and item two is a Mobius battery. So we'll set those as our production plans. And load of parts layout templates similar to the selected production plans. Yes. And we don't have any place parts. So this is essentially... Um, it's just... You know what? Just give me electrical cords. So it's just uh, two lines of things that combine into an assembler. And then end at a source table. You have to set up blueprints for this. And we're actually, or set up these items. We're going to do the first one um, by our, like, just from here. Because all we have to do is, okay, this is really crazy. Um, we go to, we, we go to set, let's just set source, set our thing here. What we want to do is not place that. If we set materials, it'll tell us what they are. We need a a cir so, uh, item one is a circuit, and item two is a mechanical piece. Now, if we look at the user's manual, it will tell us what we have to do for mechanical materials. Mechanical materials have to go through the disassembler. And, circuit materials have to go through the washer. Each thing has a time limit. I should go to move. So each one of these items, we put a thing here and it takes it one. Let's just go with one second to go through the source table. That one second here, 
one second here, one second here. So these are even. These two items will meet up in the Assembler 2. The Assembler 2 has two spaces. You can combine two things together. There is an Assembler 3 that we'll get later. And if they meet up here together, the Assembler will assemble them. And then spit them out here for completion. Now the problem with this is this is fine. These are absolutely equivalent. But we're combining two different items that have to go through two different things. So what we're going to do... Wait. We're going to, we're going to need, wait a minute, we're going to need a washer. Which takes two and takes up two spaces, so this is fine. This will work perfectly. And then we're gonna need a disassembler. Now here's the problem: the disassembler takes four. The d so four seconds to go through the disassembler, which is okay. It just means that to match up with this, what we have to do is get rid of two of these. And then, oh no, we need, we need to get rid of actually four of them. Because two going through here, four going through here, this thing needs to be, this line needs to be two seconds shorter. So now we'll place, no, we'll move, I'm sorry. And we'll remove these two. This is going to become very clear when we go through the, um, when we build the next one. Because we're actually going to build the next one from scratch. But this is a good uh, planning thing. So, and there we go. Now we need to get power to everything. Every component except these tubes has a plug. There's a plug there. There's a plug on there. There's a plug on here. There's a plug on the source table. There's a plug on the dissembler, and there's a plug on here. So we need to place electrical cords. And electrical cords run in kind of a... No, I don't want to use that one, actually. We'll use this one. We run them down in, like, square things. So, there we go. And then it powers on, and it powers on connected tubing. So we run this one all the way down. And then all the way over. And there we go, get that powered on. Power that on. Power that on. So just this table. Oh. Hmm. Oh, I missed the plug by one space. That's fine. So... And there we go! Now! We go back. We set our sources. So we set materials. And what we need is a circuit. 
We need this circuit, the space compressor, and space compressor goes through the washer because circuits go through the washer. And then we need a mechanical part. We need the Mobius battery, just one of them. And the Mobius battery goes through the disassembler. And now we should be ready to run. And now we'll see it run. And you'll see how they catch up to one another. Combine together here. And there we go. We made a thing. A thing. The Al... The... Althalnor, uh, the magical smelter, was a success. We're gonna need this for the next thing we built. So, when we come back, uh, a new factory product, and I'll show you guys that. You guys, thanks for watching, and take care. Bye, everybody.